In other words, as we explore the work of Langston Hughes, Sterling Brown, Margaret Walker, Melvin Tolson, Robert Hayden, and Gwendolyn Brooks, we will be aware of this fascinating dance between the page and the stage. And if we say we are interested in African American culture and in culture, in literature and in African American literature, in hip hop or in whatever you know we're interested in, that we acknowledge our own standpoints. The task of this younger gen literary generation, he reiterates, is not to ignore or eliminate the race problem, but to broaden its social dimensions and deepen its universal human implications. The point, though, I would say, is that for Martin, the search for meaning in language is always full of frustration, misrecognition, and disappointment. But that doesn't mean she doesn't find or doesn't want us to find her writing meaningful. I was like, just in case something happened, I want my main point to be heard at the beginning and the end. Uh, so nothing else on it. Look, the Black Arts era constitutes the most important moment in African-American literary history. By, I want to say by far, but I'm going to just go ahead and be nice and say by enough. Okay. Uh, it is uh, quite an honor to talk to uh, poetry scholars, uh, particularly about Alan Polite, uh, and to uh, talk to poets. Uh, I know many of you are accomplished poets, and I uh, am, am quite honored. that in speaking to it, right, it's not just that it transcribes or describes it, but that kind of what Trethewey's verse does um, and what I would argue is a kind of imperative in the African-American poetic tradition is transforming it, right? And that's, that's of course, what, what Shelley said about what figurative language was supposed to do, that it was supposed to de de derange through a connection that required a mental process of connecting to things that were unlike. Uh, but has some sort of way of, of, of bridging that gap. What I mean is that you have the type of sound that may add much to the impact or enjoyment of what you hear, but doesn't affect the meaning when the sound is left out. If we can escape the categories, then we can achieve a lot of, you know, broader knowledge about what it is that we're actually doing.